Hello, law students. My name is Jordan Gambino, and I'm the Assistant Dean of Professionalism and an adjunct professor at Fordham Law School, where I oversee the school's mental health and wellness initiatives and teach courses on positive lawyering and peer mentoring and leadership. On this Law Student Mental Health Day, I wanted to take the opportunity to refute for you two pervasive myths that I wish that someone had taken the time to dispel for me when I was in law school. The first is that self-care and success in the legal profession are mutually exclusive. Far too many law students and lawyers believe that in order to succeed, they must throw themselves 150% into their work at the expense of literally everything else, including their mental health and well-being. I certainly believed that when I was in law school and first starting out in practice, but I eventually learned the hard way that I could not have been more wrong. Instead, it turns out, and in fact, a whole body of research in the field of positive psychology shows that our self-care and our well-being and our success are actually inextricably intertwined, and that cultivating your well-being is essential not only for your health and happiness, but also for your performance. The second myth is that you can and ought to do it alone, and that reaching out for support would be a sign of weakness. Instead, Having a strong support system is actually one of the strongest determinants of stress resilience. And the more that you are willing to draw on your support network, the more successful you are bound to be. So on Mental Health Day, I encourage you to reach out to the members of your support network, remind them that you're there to support them and don't be hesitant to reach out when you are in need of support yourself. We are all on your team. We are here to support you and we are cheering you on. You've totally got this.